All right, guys, it is around six o'clock in the morning on Thursday, and I'm about to catch a flight because AMD invited us to New York City uh, for a briefing on Ryzen 2 and, of course, the platform. And I'm actually pretty excited because uh, I think a lot of you guys are excited about Ryzen 2 and, and what kind of performance improvements it's gonna bring when compared to uh, the first generation Ryzen CPUs. So, um, yeah, I'm actually pretty excited. So let's go catch this flight. Are you ready? Um, okay, watch this. So that is what the components must feel like inside the H500P Mesh by Cooler Master. Check it out in the description below. Whoa. So I'm finally here in New York City after that heavy turbulence when I was about to land. It was actually pretty scary. And then the heavy traffic on my way from the airport to the hotel. So I spent about 20 to 23 minutes just uh, just getting from there. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure if I'll be talking about the Ryzen 2 stuff and platform in this video, but ideally I'd like to showcase what it's like to be here at an AMD event and what it's like to cover uh, an event like this. Let me just adjust my exposure here, perfect. Um, so yeah, just to showcase what it's like to be at an event like this and of course get some insight and feedback on um, if, if some, from some fellow members that I know of and what they think about the products. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what they think about Ryzen 2 and of course uh, showcase like the behind the scenes stuff with you guys because I'm sure a lot of you guys are curious about how this whole thing works out. So right now AMD is, they're basically accommodating us for the day. I'll actually be flying out tomorrow. We have three presentations that we have to attend. Uh, we'll get some hands-on stuff, hopefully, with the Ryzen 2 products and uh, just see what it is. And uh, I have like two hours left. Um, what should I do? Well, I'm actually in the middle of scripting the uh, S9 review, so I'm probably going to finish uh, finish my script on this guy because I have a lot to talk about it. So yeah, let's, let's do that. Okay, so I did get some work done on the S9 review, but I was also setting up for the Ryzen 2 presentation. So basically, you know, I'm setting up the stuff on my laptop. So let me show what exactly what exactly is going on. So I brought my laptop, obviously. This is the Aero 15X, my editing beast. But I've also opened up a Google Docs folder so I can uh, uh, put all my information in the notes and stuff so I can actually use them as key points while I'm actually doing my explain video uh, later on. So I've labeled it appropriately. I'm also going to put the NDA and, of course, the time. I'll make sure that it's correct so I can actually, when the embargo lifts, I'll be able to share the information with you guys uh, so yeah, pretty excited about it. So let's head out to the event right now. Well That's where we're meeting. All right, so we somehow managed to get in but check this out This is like a, the most so we're entering through the kitchen a little, oh, it's like the Wow And here we are Pretty nice fancy place guys All right registration time Hey, look who I turned oh. ran into. Hello, oh. hello, Hardware Connects viewers. Fancy seeing you here. Welcome to New York. Yeah. We're at the. Where are we? Uh, I actually. What's this called? Houston Hall. Houston Hall. Houston I think Hall. that's what it's called. Yeah. Which seems like a. I think this is usually a bar. Mm. Uh, we're here to learn about Ryzen 2. Mm -hmm. And. What are your expectations? That, uh, I think it should be faster. Um, 12 nanometer instead of 14 nanometer. And we are hearing early rumors that uh, the clock speeds are, are, are up a decent amount. So nice. 4.3, 4.5 gigahertz is what I'm hearing tossed around. Whoa. As opposed to like the 4, four maybe 4.1 that yeah, you yeah. be able to hit reliably before. Okay, so it's lunchtime uh, right yeah, here at the Houston power. Hall. Uh, pretty cool setting actually. I really, I really like it. So we're going to have lunch and then the presentation is going to take place right over here. So it's kind of like a one setting thing. It's completely different from what we did last time with the Vega launch. Yeah.
And so that's pretty much a wrap for the presentation. Uh, we're on a 15 minute break right now, but uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna ask Paul what he thinks about, uh, about Ryzen 2, because he had a few expectations, so let's just see what he has to say. Here's what it comes down to. AMD, they, 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 they put this dessert in front of us, right? Right here, we got this plate, cookies, brownies, like, what am I supposed to do? I'm, sp I'm sitting here, I'm supposed to listen to this presentation about technology, new Ryzen processors. You know, they got XFR2 and Precision Boost 2 and all this stuff, but all the time I'm just trying to keep myself from eating too many of these cookies. I actually managed to only have one of these single brownie bites the entire time I was sitting here. So, more important than any of this Ryzen 2 stuff, I just wanted to say I'm very proud of that. <laughs> That's fantastic, I love that. All right guys, so we're in the hands-on section right now. Uh, so we're basically comparing two systems. We have one from Team Red and another one from Team Blue. Basically identical specs. So I think this is the one with the Ryzen 5 uh, 25 or 2600X, Vega 64, and it's running uh, Deus Ex Mankind. And that was, divided. Mankind divided. or Mankind Divided, yeah. <laughs> The sequel's coming out soon, it's Mankind Subtracted. We're getting roughly 60 frames per second on this guy. Again, this is just hands-on time. We really haven't done any, I mean, you guys have to wait until the full review because, uh, you know, we always like to test our own stuff. Uh, but yeah, 60 frames per second, 56 on this guy. Um, these are the specs, just in case if you're wondering. Same Vega 64 GPU. These are stock settings, by the way. They haven't overclocked it. You know what else I find interesting with the uh, AMD systems? Is they've decided to go with RGB everywhere. So as you can see, every AMD system over here features G-Skills, uh, Trident Z RGB memory. And of course, they've got RGB motherboards. And uh, you know what's really interesting is that uh, the new Wraith Prism cooler comes with an RGB ring, an RGB fan. So yeah, I think AMD has embraced RGB. It is official. So AMD has actually invited us to join their overclocking Olympics. It's a more friendly competition. So myself and a bunch of other uh, press, mem uh, press members are supposed to compete and kind of come out with the best results with the new Ryzen 2 uh, CPUs. So I'm going to see how far I can overclock uh, one of these processors. It'll be interesting. I think Paul's also going to join. Are you going to? Are you going to? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a fancy. <laughs> Well, this is, uh, if you're going to do LN2 overclocking, you're going to make sure you have a high quality uh, heat source. And of course, Hello Kitty, only the highest quality <laughs> everything, basically. You should all buy Hello Kitty stuff. Well, they, see. They, they pay me to say it. Paul, Paul recommended. So we're trying 4.2. I think. Yeah, maybe give it a little bit of mult voltage. Yep. All right, all right. Take one shot at Paul, Paul's gonna take one more shot, and then and then we're gonna see uh, if we can break the. Uh, Sorry, what's the record again? I'm trying to break 1900. 1900 on Cinebench. All right, we're gonna see if this works. Oh. Ooh. 1906, my friends. Yes. 1906. That that's check this out, guys. 1906 on a on a 2700x. What are the what are the uh, settings? So we're right at, at 4.225 gigahertz, so just a little bit over 4.2. Uh, our voltage is at 1.5, which is a little high, of course, but this is for benchmarking, overclocking, testing. Yeah. And the real trick, the real trick, I think, to getting the maximum overclock with Ryzen 2 with the 2700x is to have someone who is formally done professionally over, professional overclocking, like Steve from Tweaktown, who came over just moments ago, right. go into the BIOS and all these sub BIOS settings where you're like, what the heck does that do? He's like, oh, I'm just gonna change this and change this and that'll make things faster, and then it does. That is how you overclock Ryzen 2. Yep, that's how you do it. It's all about trial and error. And hey, we broke the score, the record, 1900. So I think we're pretty happy with this, uh, with this session here, so yeah. I'm happy. This is my second time here in New York City, and one of the things I've always wanted to do is visit Times Square. And this is my first time taking the subway with Paul. We have, I'm sorry, Jeff, Jeff, Jeff and Rob. Rob. Hi, everybody. So, this should be fun. Let's do this.
This is really happening. This is this is actually really happening. Are you excited, Paul? I'm kind of excited. I'm yeah. a little excited. Yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure how excited I should be exactly. So I'm not trying to get but too excited. I just I just see a lot of lights. Yeah. That's that's basically it. That's that's the whole deal with New York yeah. Times Square. Backpacksforlife.org. I've never been more excited about backpacksforlife.org. <laughs> you know, one of the things that I noticed is that I don't think you would need external lighting to, to light yourself in the night because like it's it's nice and well lit. You've got all these screens all over the place, so if you want to shoot video, you can just bring your camera. You don't need a high performance sensor or whatever. So pretty cool. So it is 8 a.m. on Friday here in New York City. I'm about to go have breakfast and then head back to the airport. But guys, overall, I really enjoyed my time here, short time here in the city. Of course, last day or yesterday, most of the time was spent for the A&D stuff, but uh, it was really exciting too. And uh, I uh, definitely fulfilled one of my wishes, which was to visit New York's Times Square. And uh, it was quite the experience. I definitely had a lot of fun. I learned an interesting fact at the event. So Ryzen or AMD launched 20 Ryzen processors in eight months. I repeat, 20 processors in eight months. That's ridiculous if you think about it. I don't think Intel has ever done that. Uh, but um, but it looks like you know their new lineup of CPUs, is, they look promising. Uh, the performance difference might not seem as a significant increase. It might be a significant increase. I don't know, I still have to test it out. I think by the time you're watching this video, a lot of the uh, reviews might, must be out. I'm definitely gonna compare the 2700X to the 1700X system that I have on my main editing PC and see if it's worth actually upgrading. So I hope you took away something from this vlog and what it's like to cover an NDA event, in this case AMD, but uh, it's normally this, it's similar when it comes to uh, other brands like Nvidia or Intel or anything else. You just, you just have to make sure that none of the information goes out of your publication um, before the NDA. That's something that you always have to keep in mind because it is pretty serious. Uh, I consider NDAs to be important. Uh, but yeah, um, I'm gonna go head back to Toronto. So I'll catch you guys in the next one.